Hi everybody, welcome to my home studio. Thanks for joining me for the next workout. The workout is two tri-sets. Tri-set meaning three exercises back to back. Each tri-set is 10 minutes in length. I want you to lift heavy in this class. You do need one set of lightweights, eights or tens for reverse flies and some tricep work. So let's get started right away. All right, so we're gonna do the 10 perfect moves and then move on and do the McGill big three. So first start, feet on the floor, squat, and then pull your strap apart. Squat, pull it apart. If I turn to the side, squat, and then pull it apart. Squat down and pull. Try to go lower. Your knees can come forward towards the toes but center your weight more in your heels. Reach apart, squat, pull the strap apart, and pull it apart. One more. Now let's do a reverse lunge like this, and just a turn. Do the other side, lunge, and turn. So you're turning the direction of the leg that's forward. So reach, and then turn. Smooth out the, mo the motion, reaching and then turning. And then maybe you can reach and pull the strap apart right there. So stretch the arms apart. Keep your balance, <laughs> stretch it apart. Excellent work. Now the next move, reach up and over, widen your grip, step side, touch your ankle. Reach up and over, touch, ankle, reach, and then touch. Reach up and over, and then touch. Reach, touch your ankle. Reach up, stretch the shoulders, and touch. Reach, touch. Reach up and over, and then touch. Nicely done, let's do lizard with rotation. Put a knee on the floor, hand on the floor. Lift your back knee. Reach up and then rotate right there. Reach up and then rotate. Reach up, rotate. Look up at your hand, palm facing out. Touch, reach, and then sweep under. Last one. Set your knee down, flex your foot, and do a hamstring stretch. So flatten your back, point your toes, Chain sides. Other foot on the floor, hand on the floor. Lift up your knee, reach up, and then rotate. Touch, reach, and then touch. Reach up, rotate and touch your shoulder. Point your elbow towards the floor for full rotation of the trunk right there. Reach, rotate, reach up. Rotate, set your knee down, hamstring stretch, straighten your back, flatten your back, and then toes pointing up right there. Excellent work. And now do, let's do cat-cow. Cat, and then cow, look forward. Exhale, round, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, and then exhale. And now, come into 90-90, seated on the mat, one shin forward, one shin side. Lean over the front leg, hold here. Breathe in, press your legs down, hold. Exhale, now flip over, other side. Right here, and lean over this leg. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, and breathe out. Now lift up, and lie down on your mat all the way, put your feet on the floor. Lift your hips up, reach your arms at the same time, and then sweep around, lower. Lift up, and sweep around. Do it again, inhale, reach, and then sweep. Inhale, 
Exhale. Press into your feet. Lift up. Hold your glutes up right there and just sweep the arms. Lower. Roll over to your stomach. Arms lower and legs straight. Lift up. Pull your elbow side. Reach. Then lower. Do it again. Up. Elbow side. Reach. Lower. Lift. Elbow side. Reach. Lower. Lift up. Bring your elbow side. Reach. And lower. Lift. Elbow side. Reach. And lower. Lift. Elbow side. Reach. Lower. Lift up. Come onto your hands. Plank to downward facing dog. Look back. Plank, downward facing dog. Lift your hips. Look through your legs. Plank, press into your fingertips. Downward facing dog. Plank, downward dog. Do it again. Plank. Downward facing dog. Then walk your hands and feet together and forward fold. Walk your hands over to the side of your right foot and then center and the side of your left foot. Stretch the side body right there. And now lift all the way up and then stretch standing. Hold your wrist and pull the arm up and over the ear. And then reach up, change sides, lean over, look up, and then reach up. And you did it. So now let's do the McGill Big Three. We'll do 10 moves on each side. So come down to your mat again, lie down, place your left hand underneath your back, left leg out straight, right knee bent, right hand behind your head. Lower your head, tap the floor, just cradling your head, not pulling. Lift up, curl up, and then lower. Flex your left foot, curl up, and then lower. Lift up and hold, and lower. Here's four, and lower. Remember, don't pull on the head. Five, and lower. Six, lower. Lift up, seven, Lower, lift up eight, lower, lift up nine, good job, and 10. And now change sides, left hand behind your head, right leg out, right hand behind your back. Now your hand is like a pressure sensor, tap your head to the floor and lift, hold, whoop, and lower. Lift up, hold, curl up, and then lower. So you're lifting the blades up off the floor as high as you can. Press the calf down, the heel down. Five, and lower. Six, and lower. Elbow back. Seven, lower. Eight, lower. Nine, lower. 10, and lower. Grab your legs and roll up. The second move, come onto your side. So side plank. Holding this one static, hand behind your head, or both legs straight right here, and hold. Press your forearm down 30 seconds right here. Breathe. Hand behind your head. 10 more seconds, or 20 more seconds. (laughs) Hold, lift your hips, hold, breathe. Now 10 more seconds. Press your forearm down, your hand down, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Set your hips down. And now let's flip this over. Change sides. Put your forearm down, forearm on the floor. Knee underneath the opposite knee like this, hand behind your head, or both legs straight, hold. Breathe, press your forearm down, hold it static. You're on the edge of your feet, straight legs, 
Contract your thighs, or squeeze the thighs, squeeze the glutes, breathe, hold. Press into your form, press into your hand, your fingers. You've got 10 more seconds right here. Press your form down. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Three, two, and then one. And now put your knees down and hands on the floor. Bird dog, right arm, left leg. Point your toes right there. And then balance, spread your fingers, bring your elbow to touch your knee. Try not to round the back. Inhale, lift or reach, then touch. This is three, reach, bring it in, reach, four, press your hand down. And this is six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Set your hand down, set your knee down. Chain sides. So arm, try to get it beside your ear, leg, point your toes. Bring your elbow in, touch your knee. Keep your back straight. One, spread your fingers. Two, reach. Three, reach. Four, reach. Five, reach. Six, reach. Seven, reach. Eight, reach. Nine, and then reach. One more. Ten. And there you go. The Miguel Big Three. Let's move on to the strength part of the program. The first triset is goblet squats, reverse fly, and tricep extensions. Goblet squat weight, one weight. I'm gonna lift a heavier weight. If you've got two lighter weights, you can also put those together to make a weight, the combination. We're gonna go on the timer making this an express workout starting session. This will keep us on track right. making this. So starting right here, toes turn out slightly, squat and then lift up. One, two, press into your feet. Three, four, good job. Press your feet down, five, six, Seven, go low, eight, nine, and then 10. Set your weight down, grab your lighter weight, reverse fly. So feet closer together, weight underneath the belly, back flat, lift to side, two, three, straight up to the sides, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place the weights together. Bring it up over your head, behind, and lift up. One, look forward. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And now we have a little layover time, 30 seconds between the sets. Set number two. How are you doing? Is that cool? Got your weights right? Lift heavier if you need to. Press pause if you need to. Get some water. Let's pick up the weight. So underneath the hands, hold it right here. Turn your toes out. Squat. Press your toes down, your heels. Two. Three. Press down four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
and then 10. Set the weight down. Grab your lighter weight. So start like this. Hinge forward. Take it to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flat back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Weights together. Stand up tall. Behind the head. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set two done. Set the weight down. All right, the third set. Stay with the weight that we've been lifting. Keep the same rep range. Working for 10. You've got time, get some water, water break. But relax right here. And let's reach down, grab the weight. Toes out. Press your feet down, one. Good. Two, smooth that out. Work on going lower, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten. Carefully set it down. Here you go. Flat back, feet together. Or just a little space between your feet. Two, three. Don't move the upper body forward, just the arms to the sides. Five, six, straight up. Seven, not back. Eight, nine, ten. Weight together. Behind. Up, one, two, three, four, great job, five, six, excellent, seven, eight, and we finished that, super awesome. We are at the fourth set, almost there. It's an express workout, right? Going quickly. This is actually, this is strength hit work. So a little cardio, faster pace, less recovery. So go ahead and set your feet up. Pick up the weight at your shoulders or at your chest. Go. Watch that. Watch your knees. Press your feet down. Three. Four, five, six, keep your chest up, seven, eight, nine, ten, weight down, pick up your lighter weight carefully, right here, and go side, one, two, Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weights together. Behind and then up. One, two, three. Nicely done. Four. Five, six, seven, getting harder, eight, arms near your ears, nine, one more, ten, awesome work. All right, let's do it. Last, the fifth, while wow, we made it, all the way to the fifth round. 
Catch your breath. So keep your form. Work on going lower. Work on your technique. The skill of doing a goblet squat. Wait right here. Press your feet down. One. Great job. Two. Come on. Three. Watch your knees. Four. Five. Leg work. Six. Glute work. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Here we go. Pick up a lighter weight. Ready? Up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Triceps. One. Two, arms beside the ears, three, back behind the head, four, five, come on, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten. The first try set, we are done. Get some water. Here's your official water break. A couple of minutes. And then we'll do the second super or tri set. Catch your breath. I'm not going to breathe into my microphone. <laughs> All right. How's it feel? Did you sweat? I broke a sweat for sure. The next. Tricep, split squats, right side and left side. And then we'll do a kneeling bicep curl and then a floor chest press. One, I'm gonna grab your two medium heavy weights. Think 12s, 15s, or I've got 17 and a half. I guess you could go up to 20s. That's gonna be tough though. So the first move is a split squat like that. So press into the forward foot. So let's go ahead and do it. That's two. Come with me. Three. Four. This is the rehearsal round. Five. Push into your foot. Good. Six. Excellent. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then ten. Chain sides, opposite foot forward. This leg just staggered back. You ready? Go. One, two. Keep your back straight. Don't round. Three. Push into your foot. Four, five. You got it. Six, seven. Awesome. Eight. Great job. Nine, ten. Kneeling bicep curl. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, nine, 10. And now place the weights beside your floor, on the floor, beside your mat, if you have a mat. And scoot, grab the weights before you lie down. Place them at your thighs. Lower down, hoist them up, so you already have them here. Turn your palms out, ready? Go, 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one more. Excellent work. Set the weights on the floor. So hold it right there. Let's see if I can do that gently. And stay right here. Rest 30 seconds. Rock from side to side with your knees into your chest. So we're going to do the opposite order since we're already on the floor. So being efficient with position and movement from one exercise to the next. So now going the opposite order, we're going to start with chest press. So to bring the weight up to your shoulders, especially when it's really heavy, you really need to start from here. Place it, place it on your thighs and then lower down. So up here, turn your pinkies out and go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push, nine, and then 10, and then hammer curl it down, and then come on up, place the weight. Pyramid down for the bicep curls if you need to. All right, so opposite foot forward, that kneeling bicep curl. So reach down, lift up your shoulders, you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, come on, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, one more, 10, stand up. Legs, can you keep up? Pause if you need to. So right foot forward, left leg back, staggered, you ready? Look forward and go. One, two, three, use that forward leg, four, five, six, seven, just three more, eight, come on, nine, ten, let's change sides, left leg forward, right leg back, ready, just a slight, slight distance, go, one, two, straight body, three, hold the weight strong, four, five, halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nicely done. Set the weights down. So, we are going back down. This will be the third round. Ready? Third bicep curl. Let's go. Let's alternate. One, two, Three, don't rest at the top. Four. Grip strong. Five. Hold it in the center. Halfway, so six. Seven. We have three more, can you do it? Eight. Come on, nine, real strength, 10. Nicely done. 
Set the weights on the floor. So we're gonna do the same thing. So feet on the floor, place the weights on your thighs, right here, hoist them up, feet on the floor, lower back on the floor, bring it down, touch, and then bring the weights, the ends together at the top, one, press, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set it on the floor. All right. Relax for a moment. The next round, going back the other way. So this is round number four. Yep, round number four. Let's do it. So bring it up. Are you ready? Press pause if you need to. Actually, don't start like that, like this. Weights at the thighs and lower down. Start at the fourth bench press. So up here, bring it down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then bring it up. All right. Fourth bicep curl. Relax your arms. Ha! Ah, ready? Let's do it. Let your arms relax for a moment. Shall we try to do it alternating? Okay, so two together, and then we'll do two alternating, one foot forward. Ready, go. Count right and left is one. Pull your elbows in. Two. Three. Great job. Four. Five. You got it. Halfway. Six. Fatiguing. You got it. Come on, grip strong. Seven. Eight. You've got this. Nine. Ten. Excellent. <laughs> Grit in my face. Come on up. Let's do it. Press pause if you need to. Legs. Hold the weight strong. One foot back. And you ready? Go down, press, and lift up. One, two, three. Hold the weight strong. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, other side. Stagger your foot back. You ready? Let's do it. Go. One, push. Two, look forward. Three, stay focused. Press into your foot. Four, five, six, don't get your weight back. Seven, in the forward foot. Eight, nine, ten. Set the weights down. Ah, okay, so we need to do that again for the fifth round. And then fifth round of biceps, fifth round of press. You ready? Let's do it. 
Rest, get some water. Let's do take a water break. Shake it off. It's hard to hold those heavy weights. So you're developing grip strength while working the legs. So this time, I'll face forward. So right here, one foot in the front. I'm gonna start with my right, and then kind of shift a little forward. So you're on the toes of the back foot, right? Hold the weight strong and go. One, two, careful, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Other side. Relax your shoulders. You ready? But bend your elbows slightly. Go. One. Stabilize. Two. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Excellent. Six. Look up here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I do think we have to do one more of those to make five. I'm calculating in my head. I think we missed the fifth. Oh, up, oh, bicep curl. So grab your weight, place it one foot forward. Try to do the opposite leg that you did the last time, if you can remember. Okay, the last bicep curl, the fifth, elbows in. Do it together. One, two, three, four, five. Super hard. Six, elbows in. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. All right. One more press. Let's do it. Hmm. Feet forward, weight of the thighs, lower down, weight up. Feet on the floor, abs in, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Place the weight on the floor and bring it up. We need to finish off the fifth round of the split squat. So pick up your weight, facing forward, one foot forward, one foot back just slightly. Bend your elbow slightly, and then lower. One, press into your toes. Two, good, three, Four, five, keep your chest up, six, seven, eight, hold the weight strong, nine, and then 10. Change sides. You ready? Here we go. One, you're working that forward leg. Two. Three, really working it. Four, 
five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Set that weight down. That's quite an accomplishment. We finished it, five rounds. And now you're gonna sit on the mat and let's do a 90-90 stretch. Where are my legs? <laughs> so one shin side, one shin side, one shin forward. Press your knees down, square yourself this direction and bring it over. Breathe as your heart rate comes down. Fitness tracker does not track you unless you put it on. That should change, right? It should know when I'm working out based on my fluctuating heart rate. Breathe. One more breath. Now just lift up, and you're gonna bring this foot in front of the shin right here. Pull this heel in like that. Do you see that? So I'm keeping this shin forward, and I just brought this leg from the side forward right there. And this heel is at my glute. Now put this foot on the other side of your knee. Create a stretch, a twist. Fingertips behind, grab your knee, breathe. Easily getting into a different stretch from one to the next. Stretching the back, the sides. So gen gently twist, looking over your shoulder. And then untwist. So a little change, you're gonna reach this leg over here, this leg here, so inner thigh stretch. Press your legs down, point your toes up. Reach your arms forward, palms forward. Relax your shoulders, turn your palms down, and then scoop in. Press the heels of your hands towards the mat right there. Press your fingers down, you can spread your fingers. Shoulders away from the ears, hold. Now lift up, turn your hands forward. Now walk your hands forward with a flat back right there. Stretch your legs straight. Point your toes up, and can you, with a flat back, lower your forearms down? Some people can even bring their forehead down to the floor. I can't do that, but I can bring my forearms down. If you're not there yet, just reach your hands as far as you can forward and breathe. Hold about 30 seconds right here. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Fully. Inhale. Exhale fully. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. And now lift up. And we're just going to go the, to this side. So bring your legs to 90-90 position on this side. You ready? So shin 90 degrees, shin 90 degrees like this, right? Doop, doop. And then lean over this leg. Press your arms down, your leg down, and square yourself as much as you can right here. Release, relax. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath. And then lift up right there. Now you're gonna just take this leg on the side, place it in front of the shin right there, and then pull your heel to your glute. Then you're gonna put this foot on the side of your knee right there, and then fingertips behind the hip, grab your leg and turn right there. From 90-90 to Lord of the Fish Pose, our pretzel stretch, <laughs> or hip, hip stretch right there, side stretch, twist. Look over your shoulder. One 
One more breath. And now look forward, release. Place the soles of your feet together like this and kind of move yourself, your hips back a little bit so you've got space right here. And then lean over the center right there over your feet, your forehead towards your shoes. And then if you wanna use some leverage, you'd put your forearms underneath your legs and then use that as leverage to pull yourself under right here. Stretching the back, inner thigh muscles. And then lift up. Let's do one more stretch on your back. We haven't done supine, feed your fingers through, pigeon pose right here. Press your knee away. So this is very similar to 90-90. You'll feel probably similar stretching, but we're gonna take this to a twist by placing your left foot on the floor, arms out like, like this, like a cactus or goal posts, and then relax your hands and then tip the knees over to the right. So that ankle pulls your knee over and turn your gaze to the left and relax. Almost there. Take this time, take this moment to allow your body to recover. And then lift up and now take it over to the other side. Turn your head the opposite way. Point your knee up. Some people may find this to be a better stretch for that hip, the outside. Either way, both are good. And now lift up. And now change sides. So left ankle, right knee, lift up, reach through, grab the hamstrings, pull the leg in, press your knee away and hold. Square up your body, hold. And then set your foot on the floor. Bring your arms out, tip the knees over to the left. Look over to the right. Inhale, lift. And now go over to the other side. Turn your head the opposite way. This is the last stretch. Then we'll do cat-cow and come on up and be done. Hold. One more breath. Now lift up, uncross your legs, and come on to your hands and your knees and do cat-cow two times. Cat. Cow. Cat cow. Now neutral spine or flat back, walk your hands back to your knees, lift up your knees, forward fold, lift up halfway, and then all the way up, inhale, reach up, exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Let me know in the comments. Comment on YouTube or Facebook. Thanks so much. Bye.